All right, ladies and gentlemen, Christopher Green here, AMTV, very serious report, breaking news. This Saturday, I don't normally produce content on a Saturday, but we have a major warning from Pentagon officials. I hope they're wrong about this. Regarding Ukraine, this is CNBC.com. Pentagon leaders warn of a, quote, horrific aftermath if Russia invades Ukraine. We've seen an intense military buildup in recent months, recent days, especially leading into the Olympics, Beijing Olympics starting on February 4th. And if we go back in history, the last time there was an incursion in Ukraine, in Crimea, in that peninsula, where there's a lot of focus, of course, in Sevastopol, naval warships, Putin wanting to reacquire that part of the world. Ever since the collapse of the USSR, it typically occurs on or before some of these other events are transpiring. Now we have the Pentagon and top officials in the United States warning within the last 24 hours that a Russian invasion of Ukraine could be coming. Now, Biden has also warned about this along with Jen Psaki, his communications director, Joint Chiefs Chairman Army General Mark Milley and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin detailing a very possible grim scenario as U.S. and NATO forces prepare for a potential Moscow attack on its ex-Soviet neighbor. You can see an image here of one of our top generals. Hopefully that is in focus. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is very very serious. What are my thoughts on this geopolitically? How do I think that this will impact financial markets as we've seen a lot of disarray in recent days and weeks? People are calling it a bear market. I don't think it's a bear market. I actually think this is going to benefit certain asset classes, not just gold and silver, but also Bitcoin. I, I still think a lot of you are failing to understand that Bitcoin is non-sovereign currency, meaning there's no country-specific risk, there's no Fortune 500 or Fortune 100 corporation risk, there's no political risk in an environment where we're seeing potential refugees in Ukraine, as we've had a very difficult couple of years. These are things I want you guys to take into consideration. Also, we had massive news, ladies and gentlemen, massive news out here in the great state of Arizona. And great news with my brother. Thank you for your prayers. He's doing a lot better. We got great news from our team. For those of you that don't know, we've been fighting bone cancer. He's been fighting bone cancer the last couple of years, doing a great job. He's a champion. Your prayers truly have worked. Even one of you said, Christopher, I was praying for your brother. I felt the light just entering him. And God told me that your brother is basically speaking through God, a part of his battle and his amazing life and his journey that he's currently on. I actually think you're right about that. So thank you for your support as we're praying for you as well. But we just got a major report out here in Arizona that they are going to potentially legalize Bitcoin as tender. Now, of course, we've seen this in El Salvador where they're building the new super state cities based on Bitcoin bonds backed by volcanic energy. For those of you who don't know what they're doing with the president, is doing there, I think his name's pronounced Bukele, if I'm saying that correctly, is they're backing bond issuance up to 500,000, or excuse me, $500 million, soon to potentially be billions of dollars, backed by 50% Bitcoin that pays like a 7, 8% yield, and then is going to be the engine of clean energy coming from the volcano that mines all this stuff that will potentially build the new super state cities like what we visited in Singapore very recently. And now this in Arizona, state senator introduces bill to make Bitcoin legal tender. The U.S. Constitution doesn't allow individual states to create their own legal tender. However, a bill introduced would make Bitcoin a legal tender in the state in the event that the legislation passes and the law goes into effect. Now, this specific bill, SB 1341, was introduced by State Senator Wendy Rogers, a Republican. I encourage you to follow her. It seeks to amend the list of accepted legal tender to include Bitcoin, which means the cryptocurrency would be accepted for the payment of debt, public charges, taxes, and other dues. Now, just like in El Salvador, basically, if you go to McDonald's, you can spend Bitcoin. Now we're starting to see certain states, notice this is happening in the freedom states, we've seen mention in other states like Texas and Florida, Miami bonds, and 
we're seeing this new engine of blockchain push forward new technology, which I view extremely exciting. In fact, we just got a major announcement from LeBron James as well. He's starting an educational company based on blockchain. So as we're focused on Ukraine, as we're looking you know, back to that geopolitical risk, something that I've been talking about for 15 years, I would argue, this is my opinion, much of this has already been decided. The geopolitical chess pieces of this war, I believe, have already been determined. Now, as we enter the Winter Olympics, starting February 4th, of which our athletes are being placed in a bubble, we've never seen this in world history, as we see the ramping up of Cold War tensions that Biden has alluded to, we haven't seen since World War II, the question I beg of you is, do you think we will get the military incursion that the media is warning about. Now, I hope I'm wrong. I hope nothing happens. In fact, it's likely Putin maybe pulls back like we've seen in the past. But he is such a master chess player, it would not surprise me if he takes at least the eastern side of Ukraine, which is heavy Russian integrated, in coordination with some other major events in Taiwan. So again, when you're looking over here, typically you'll see the geopolitical movements on the other side of the equation that are much more worrisome. Again, guys, I've been warning, again, to prepare for years, whether or not this is food, water, gold, silver, it's now Bitcoin. I believe Bitcoin is the number one solution for non-sovereign risk. Of course, we're up thousands of percentage points since March of 2020. I believe it was 10X from 3,600, now trading at 3,637K. I can't think of a better opportunity to diversify your income, your potential cash flows, and basically your knowledge base to pivot into the careers and jobs of the future. So get in now, click the link below. I want to see you guys at school and also want to hear from you. There's a promo code. It's going away. It's Lambo. Make sure and enter that and join us. My son and Austin, but also what do you think about Ukraine? Could something happen potentially this weekend? Or is this just rhetoric from the media that, you know, maybe shouldn't be trusted and Putin might pull back here within the coming hours? Either way, these are very serious notations from public officials, the Pentagon, and also top generals in the United States warning of a potential World War event. I'm Christopher Green. Like and share this video. Click the links below to support us and join us at school. BitcoinRich.com. Think and grow. BitcoinRich.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to join our world-class blockchain academy of BitcoinRich.com, enter the promo code, what is it, son? Lambo. Lambo. Save 100 bucks off today. Learn everything you can about Bitcoin, Ethereum, all the other hosts of blockchains, DeFi, smart contracts. Learn how to create those cash flows potentially. Change your life. Go all in with us at BitcoinRich.com. Link below, that's promo code Lambo. Get in today. Join Bitcoin Rich School today. Promo code Lambo.